ready to light this candle? I am ready. All right. So, without further ado, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the General Geekery Podcast, the podcast where we like to geek out about all the things like we like to geek out about. No, f- n- um, no filter for our geekiness. We just, we just geek out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I, I thought I was going somewhere with that, but unfortunately, I wasn't. <laughs> eh. As always, I, um, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> All right, as always, this is Donald Kaczynski. With me, as always, the always amazing Hannah Kubiak. Nope. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. You cut out for a sec. I, th- I think we both cut out for a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. So as... So, ah. And uh, we're, ta- we're talking over Discord because, uh, again, the social distancing is still in effect. Yep. One one day we one day we will see normality return again. But one day we will see the light. One day we will the see the sun light. shine. <laughs> the sun shine on a cloudy day when it's cold outside. Mm. I got the month of May. Yes, <laughs> yes. And guess what? It's gonna be May. It's gonna be May. Well, at, at least at, at least after this episode, because, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last installment of um, our Anime April series for uh, for 2020. We talked about some pretty night, nice, some pretty awesome anime topics. We talked about Full Metal Alchemist. We talked about um, Death Parade. We talked about Attack on Titan. And uh, today, um. Today's gonna be an interesting one. It's not. It's not as. Um. It. It's not as. I wouldn't say it's as notable as the previous three entries, but. Um. I chose. I. Cho- I chose this series because. Uh, it's one that's very near and dear to my heart. I. It's. A, it's a lot more important to me than I think even Death Parade because I was re re-listening to the Death Parade episode and I said Death Parade was one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Th- this particular anime is in a different class on its own. Uh huh. For, for me personally. <laughs> we are talking okay. today. We are talking about the 2010 anime Angel Beats. Oh my god, this anime is... T- this show is 10 years old now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that, that, that alone makes me feel my age. And I'm, and I'm only in my mid-20s. I'm like, oh my god, this is actually a thing. Yeah. Actually, I'm older than you, aren't I? Are you? I honestly don't I think know. I am. <laughs> okay, well let's, let's just say let's let, let's just say you are, and let's just uh, okay. I, I'm All right, a... youngling, let's discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, she has that power over me now. So, um, yep. Angel Peaks, um, mm-hmm. produced by Studio PA Works, um, was re- was released in the spring season of 2010, and. Uh, is notable by many at the time for its uh for its uh for its visual quality as well as its as well as its sound design in terms of music as well as sound effects because um mm-hmm. because th- there's a lot of gunfire in this show and it's actually um the gunfire from the respective gun models that are um depicted in the show Oh wow really I did I, I didn't even know that too until like years later when I was just like reading like a random uh, article on it and I was like, really? Mm-hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay. So um should I have I had never seen this before, um until you suggested discussing it on the podcast. So um I don't know, do you wanna do you wanna hear my reactions to yeah, sure, absolutely. Go, go, go right ahead. Um, let's, okay. Let's get your reactions first, and then we'll go over like a little general synopsis. Oh, actually, no. Let's do. We should probably let people know what it's about. I, I, I have this like short-sighted assumption that because I know what it is now, everyone else does too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, very no, it's, self-centered it's, of me. I know. No, it's okay. It's okay. So, um, so, um. Angel Beats is uh, set in a um uh, is set in the uh, is set in an afterlife like world that is basically a Japanese high school, where um 
where um, uh, it, it's a purgatory-like world. Um, our main character, Otanashi, finds himself there with absolutely no memory of uh, his life before or how he died. All he knows is are the all he knows is what um, he sees in front of him. That he's in a very weird high school area. Um, anytime he does die, he just comes right back to life. There is no such thing as perma death. And um, mm-hmm. there is this uh, young woman who goes by the nickname Angel, um, terrorizing some of the students that remember their lives in the previous life. We don't exactly know why, but um, mm-hmm. these students that remember are part of uh, a are part of a group called the Afterlife Battlefront that whose main goal is to rebel against God. Hmm. And that's basically the general synopsis. There's there's a lot there's um a little bit more to it, but it's mostly like it's mostly character moments like throughout the episodes leading up over over this thirteen episode series. So that's basically the general mm-hmm. synopsis. The overall uh, goal of the battlefront is to rebel against God and find out why they're in this world, why they would be put in this world, like why didn't you send us to heaven or anything like that? Why? Because they feel right. like uh, being in this purgatory-like world is kind of a curse. Hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the general synopsis without getting too much into uh, the story. So Hannah, um, like I said earlier, I'm a big fan of the show. I saw it um, when it first originally aired ten years ago. You only saw it recently. Yes. What? And so I finished it this morning. Nice. <laughs> Awesome. So you got a, so you got so you so you're coming off raw emotion on that. Excellent. It's that's still per- raw, man. That's perfect. <laughs> that's, that's the perfect way to feel. So yeah. How how are you feeling? How's your reaction to it? Um. Yeah. Okay. So it it took me a while to watch this show. Usually, I kind of uh, um. Usually, I binge stuff. Like I'm pretty sure when I read Death Parade for our conversation about that. I basically, over the course of two days, just, just watched the whole thing. It took me a while to watch. Um, and um, it kind of underwhelmed me at first, um, mm-hmm. uh, initially. I think that um, the, the, the moment where I started to kind of understand why they were there was when I kind of got a little bit more in um invested in it so the the story with the the girl who was playing her guitar oh. like she was the uh, lead singer of the band oh he was sour yes he was sour. um yeah so that part i found that really interesting i was like oh i think i see what's going on here where it, it was it was kind of like an opportunity to do things that they weren't able to do in their former life i was like okay interesting so they basically when they're when they're when they're content and they feel fulfilled then they they can pass on um and then after that i i got i got underwhelmed again i kept on watching it i and i just i didn't really understand what was going on and I guess they were all fighting Angel and having this battle against her and everything. And I kind of, I, from the beginning, I was sort of like, I don't really see what's so bad about Um Then as her role in the, uh, in the, that universe became a little bit more clear, I kind of started to understand it a little bit better. Um, mm-hmm. I would say that the, um, I I love a good back, so I would say that the the point when I the point when I um became invested in the show was when um was when um I sort of we when Otanashi started to remember his life. Oh man! And it made total sense to me. Um, it was like he was going he was studying to become a doctor and like working his ass off and stuff 
stuff because he wanted to be able to take care of people and have a purpose in his life because his one purpose for living, which was his sister, she had um, she had died. Um, right in and his, in his total, arms. In his arms, yeah, and he didn't even he didn't even notice because it was like, yeah, she was like he he took her out for he took her out for for Christmas, right, to see. And he's like, aren't the lights pretty? And because she, she says, yes, they're pretty. Thank you, thank you, bro. And then that was the last he heard from her. That was the last little peep. Oh. Ah. Yeah, and um, so then just and that sort of spurred him to study to become a doctor. And I, like, that made total sense to me. I was like, oh, of course, like, that's what he was trying to do with his life before he died and then they did sort of his backstory in two episodes and then the first one it ended with the train crash when he was on his way to his um his um his entrance exam right or something yep that was the that, it was for the entrance exams to enter medical school yeah and i um yeah so there was the train crash and i I think you're supposed to sort of get the impression that he, in the train crash right away, yeah. you know? Yeah. So we, when we, that, yeah. So when that ha- happened, um, I was sort of like, huh, okay. He died in a train train crash. Uh, okay. I mean, I was, I was kind of expecting something a little bit more. Well, not that a train crash isn't dramatic, but <laughs> I was expecting something a little bit, um, a little bit more fulfilling and then and then which is and, weird because that i would use the word fulfilling when i was thinking about it because there's a reason why he's in the f with all of these people whose lives were unfulfilled right and um, we think he's the same but he's but he's not because we find out in, <laughs> uh, in, in a follow-up that where the the full memory of what happened after the train crash yeah. Happens. Yeah, because yeah, there's a train crash, and he and a handful of people survived in a blo- blocked... The tunnel was blocked from both sides, for, and he... I think it was, like, a he week goes, or two. Yeah, he goes full doctor. Um, so there's taking care of everybody. They're trying to ration food. There's all these arguments with people, and I think, like, somebody stole stole water um, mm-hmm. because of that, so everyone else could have enough. He, like, gave up his portion, and and stuff whole thing sort of ended with him because his his sister had said like if only i had a donor that could save my life so then as he's lying there basically starving in the railway tunnel he like uh like marks up his um id card or whatever to, to be for, to be like, a donor to be to be a donor yeah um it's like a, i wrote down a couple of things here like if i save someone my life isn't so bad um that yeah yeah that that <laughs> that got so i was yeah. like okay so 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 he did that and then he just like peacefully passed you know after having done everything that he could and, and i was then, like okay so why is he in this limbo with everyone who was on everyone who was unfulfilled and unable to do what they wanted to do like he, he people fought. unable to fully enjoy their youth are the people who, who yeah. are in this limbo basically and that that was the part that got that that got me was that why he showed up with no memories and and what his purpose there was he, and everything. He he was he was basically like in, in a weird twist of fate, he was brought to that world in order to help those that have been there for so long and just could not find the uh-huh. power in them to pass on. Yeah. To, to help them realize. Yeah, yeah. Help help them. I had, um I had these the, I had the exact same reactions as you when I first yeah. watched the show. Mm-hmm. Like your reactions and mine, like from episode to episode, like m- almost match up. I I was mm-hmm. like, "Where's like why? Where's this going? Everything like this? Like it didn't mm-hmm. really seem to have like a full on like 
purpose until that until that episode where that second Otanashi flashback and everything like that, and you understand everything falls mm-hmm. into place. Like it's like yeah. that's why yeah. because this battle this battlefront is made up of so many different people that like mm-hmm. the, we find we figure out this world is basically suited to, in order to help them like realize potential they never could have found in real life that they never had the chance but Mm -hmm. it's because of all these students because they still had all of their memories and everything like that because especially for some of them that went through a lot of dramatic stuff oh yeah like that girl with her 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 three siblings uh, in the house yeah yuri (laughs) yuri yeah Uh, like uh, like they like they could not they could not accept like they could not accept it because Mm-hmm. Of, of what they went through they're they're like this this should not be a thing like yeah and that and that's why they rebelled which i'm like now this all makes sense okay mm-hmm. all right this i can this mm-hmm. i can accept yeah yeah so uh oh my gosh yeah so that i was thinking okay i can i can get behind this um And, um, like, I can really get behind that sort of, um, concept that this, um, I think this is a, a phrase from the show, because I was just, last, the last couple of episodes, things started hitting me, and I started writing them all down and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a place for people unable to fully enjoy, and that, that kind of, that kind of hit me because I was like oh my gosh you know like just because of various circumstances as a kid I was very very serious and not really like a kid at all yeah in in my own mic just yeah just just various factors that I won't go into do right now but I often look yeah I know I often sort of look back and I'm like man you know like as a kid i don't really have very many good memories of being a kid and that's so because i can't go back you know so i totally got that concept yeah i agree that's well it's kind of different for me since i originally watched it um back when it first aired i was i was a sophomore in high school at the time and um Mm -hmm. um it, it was i was at a really it was in a really bad point in my life. I was, I was a completely different person than um, what 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 do you guys normally hear me as like on here on the podcast on my streams or anything like that? Um, I was very, I was a lot more introverted. I was just quiet. I was just so just angry all the time and just pissy at the world. I've been like that ever since like middle school and um, like middle school does shit to you yeah it really does (laughs) it really does and it and it stuck with me for a long time and then like like anime was my only escape but i didn't feel anything really that popped out and it was like oh like this is okay it makes me feel like this okay yeah yeah angel beats was really it was like my angel beats became my lifeline in that sense when Mm -hmm. it got to that point and i started making all these realizations like i broke down I, bro- mm-hmm. I broke down hard at the finale. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, that, that... Yeah. That was rough. <laughs> that was gut-wrenching. I'm, I'm like... it happened I... so quickly, too. You're... <laughs> and, and, it's just, and, it's, and it's just... And it's just like, oh, come on, don't do this to me. <laughs> we're, 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 we're not... We're not gonna... We're not gonna go into spoilers for... Th- yeah. for, for, for that, because I fully want everyone listening to watch this show, because it's... Yeah. It, it it must be experienced. Like, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like... It's... Basically, it's... Um, oh, gosh. My, I'm so bad at these names. Um, like, Otonashi kind of discovered what his... What his... What his life really meant. And that... Mm-hmm. Like becoming a um, becoming an organ donor in like the last moments of his life, um, like kind of what that caused, and just what an awesome thing that was to do, even 
even though he wouldn't be <clears throat> he wouldn't be around to see the impact. And he kind of gets to see that impact by the end. It's sort of it's yeah, that, pretty odd. That 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 was that threw me for a loop. I'm like, oh, you! How dare how dare you show? <laughs> how dare you pull this on us? Yeah, because a lot of the time we don't really get to see the effect that we have. Yeah, the effect on others. Yeah. Yeah. And especially in a situation like like that, you know, you don't really get an opportunity. Um. It it kind of I don't know it kind of made me think of all of the I guess the lost chances people have of and when they well you're not able to say like I'm sorry or thank you or really important um, that you don't just just don't get to say just because we're all um, frail cowardly human beings. You know, and when that opportunity is gone, then, then we think about it and we say, "Oh man, I should have, I, I should have, I should have said I love you more. I should have thanked this person for what they did, or I should have apologized." You know, um, and this kind of story about the like the limbo is about all those lost being able to do uh, like have those chances again. Yeah, I agreed. <laughs> like, like, like this, the show delves into like such serious stuff, but like, mm -hmm. it takes a while to get there though. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 like, I will admit I'm, I'm a huge fan of this show. Like I have, mm -hmm. I, I, I have the, um, I have the DVDs on a very special place on my shelf because I, I treasure the show so dearly, but even I will admit its shortcomings in that it. It takes a while. There's a lot of like silliness in this show. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, 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 like when I when I was originally thinking of like uh, anime to pick out, I'm like, I don't know if Hannah would like this. I, but it's a short one, so maybe I'm like, I, I was struggling with myself for the longest time to like see if like if if you wanted to watch this. I was like, you know what? I'll just right. I'll, I'll I'll just give it a shot Be because. I mean, let's take a look at the two anime that I basically picked up for this month. I picked Angel Beats and I picked Death Parade. Both shows, yep. both shows revolve around the fact of like a purgatory like afterlife. Yeah. And both cannot yeah. be any more different. <laughs> what's your What's your hang up on the afterlife, man? I don't. Like, I don't know. Want to talk about it? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's just like I oh, I'm always drawn to shows with like that otherworldly feel of like um. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you're you're dead. Like that's that's absolute and everything like that. But like, what happens when uh, like the the death realization comes in and like there's a chance for you to like have all of that come at you for some reason? Like that th mm -hmm. that theme of like uh, like um, choices and chances and consequences like um, after death. Like it's in mm -hmm. in anime and just like in fiction, it's just like they always intrigue me. I'm like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I, mm. I just I just like that kind of style for some reason. I don't understand yeah. why, but I do. Mm. <laughs> and and like yeah, what... it's a it's a cool concept, definitely. Yeah, it's and... something. It's the great unknown, you know. <laughs> and, and, Truly, indeed. Like you can go like as far as you want with it. Like and both go in like different directions. Whereas Death Parade mm. was like a little bit more intimate with like only having like a few people around at the same time. There is a like very diverse cast in Angel Beats, maybe mm -hmm. too much for its own for its own good. Yeah, Cut. I did get people mixed up a lot. Yeah, that does tend to happen. I thought, wait a minute, he's there. I thought he passed on already. Oh. Yeah, it it it, it, it also didn't help that they all kept on dying and coming back because of the nature of the limbo. I, I'm luckily like they don't they don't hang up on that too much like after like the mm. first like couple of episodes they like try to they don't try to mm. rely on that gimmick as much and i'm like okay thank thank god thank god they didn't try to do that too much mm. and it's only like at the end like when uh they say like okay they they finally had their final finality and everything like that and they moved on i'm like i would have liked i would have liked to see that you know mm -hmm. like like can can i see how peaceful 
my homie TK passed on with him and his dancing bandana self? <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, hold on. Funny thing. I got to ask. You saw, you watched the show um um in English, right? Yeah. Okay. So, just a funny thing. Hello. Um I originally watched it um when I first watched it, I watched it in Japanese. Um TK, the character who always dances and everything like that. Yeah. The um, guy with no eyes for the, some reason. The, the guy with the guy with no <laughs> eyes for some reason because he's always covered by a bandana. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. um, in the in the original Japanese, um, he always talked in English. That was like a hmm. that was like a that was like a funny little quirk that he had um, Weird. in the original Japanese version that unfortunately didn't translate too well into it, English. Except for they made the joke: "Is this how exa- how exactly how high is this guy?" And I'm like, "Oh my god!" Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like they they actually wrote that in. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I I I was I was laughing at some of the choices they made for the English translation. I'm like, oh my god, mm-hmm. this is so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. Speaking of characters, um, b- besides Odanashi, any other characters that um really stood out? for you any that you enjoyed um watching or felt that you made a little bit more of a connection with than others um i i found um okay the guy with the the guy with the glasses who is actually really muscular i found that whole <laughs> <laughs> like when they told him to make a, a distraction in class for some reason and he's like he he stood up and um like at the end of the test he um and the teacher was looking at him and he's just like did you know i'm actually really muscular under my clothes and yeah. like ripped off his shirt and he's just like <laughs> yeah, bulging she, muscle yeah he, yeah he's like, she's like yes i see that now please take a seat <laughs> and the teacher's just on face just like nope just just stop yep oh, i was and like then after oh after God. that he uh after that he was mostly shirtless for the rest of the show <laughs> <laughs> and and you just see him just constantly doing push-ups and sit-ups just like must yeah, build yeah. muscle must, must build muscle <laughs> oh my gosh like, yeah like so I, I found that amusing it's like so many of them are just like just silly characters that are just like mm-hmm. what in the world is happening yeah oh i love that their school anthem that they made up um was basically just a um um serenade for mabu tofu <laughs> it's oh, supposed the gr- to be about their school but it's just like we eat mabu tofu yes. we love mabu tofu <laughs> oh my god they say what, what the- I, 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 you know oh this song came from her heart that 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 legend that legendary mabu tofu is no joke though its spiciness yeah. is unparalleled, but it has a deep, yeah. but it has a deep flavor to it. <laughs> it's... You've eaten it? Have you eaten mabu tofu? I've only eaten, I've only had mabu tofu once. Um, it mm. it depends it depends on how spicy you make it. It it's really good. Oh, it's really good. Awesome. So um, I do love like tofu, but I don't like spicy things very much. So you you, you can make it less spicy. It doesn't ah. it, it, it it doesn't have to be. I think they only made it like um. Um, that's spicy because um, they uh, just because like it was just the in universe thing. Like the mabo tofu is supposed to be really spicy here at this cafe. What are you doing, you mad lad? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's just like nobody. <laughs> and then um oh man I think I think one of my favorite characters. <gasps> Ooh. What's up? The the hypnotism guy. <laughs> <laughs> now he <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah his uh his his backstory was fascinating to me oh, oh, oh yeah <laughs> i love anything to i love anything to do with twins to be honest with you. oh yeah it's just so much opportunity for shen- but not very much because well the biggest shenanigan of all was with pulled i'm pretty sure but it was kind of a sad shenanigan yeah Kind of, mm. it it was, but damn, damn, yep. that hit hard. To, to take your brother's place like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean it, he he wanted to t- to test his own skills, though. That's that's just how it mm-hmm. was. Yep, yep. 
And then the episode immediately mm-hmm. after that, he automatic he hypnotizes one of the other battle, Battlefront members to um, uh, believe that he's more he's more insignificant than a paper clip. I'm like, yeah. I was like, or a clothespin or a, something. A, paper clip or a, a clothespin. Clothes e- either it's one like, of those. They're so versatile. They're them. One. <laughs> I'm just I'm just like really, really oh, not a why why just one. Well, I mean, he did have a like total emotional breakdown in the episode before, so you know some shenanigans were true. Very I true. often find shenanigans are in order after an emotional break. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, was... yeah. Well, yeah. So the, that basically, yeah, my reaction to the show was was it went like. Um, underwhelmed, underwhelmed, un- underwhelmed, slightly intrigued, underwhelmed, under, very intrigued, mm-hmm. interested, 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 heartbroken. <laughs> ba- ba- basically went for that, basically episode by episode by episode, and then damn. Yep. Yeah, I knew that, I knew this was going to be like a tricky show to review because of like, the style is all over the place, really, like. Mm-hmm. There's not really a clear narrative laid down. It's it's more of like a character piece more so than anything. Yeah, really. yeah. And I like, mean, and like, like that. I, I liked seeing different people, different people's stories and why they're there and what to be at peace. The stra- The funny thing is though, like they made a sp- they made a prequel spinoff manga of the show, like of how the Battlefront was originally um, mm-hmm. formed before Odanashi came there. Um, oh. That explains some of the other like side characters that didn't get enough like screen time in the anime. Yeah, and like I... that girl with the broom, she balanced a broom all... for focus. Oh, Sheena! <laughs> I thought she she was I I, I found her um, pretty cool, but then she didn't really do much in the rest in the the, the rest of the she... show. She 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 protected a toy dog from falling down t- down to its death in a waterfall because she loves cute things. Yep, yep. That was... <laughs> she's like the most she's like the most dour looking girl, but she has she has that weird quirk where she thinks that toy animals are real. <laughs> she, she she must protect the doggo. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm like I'm like the most badass out of all of them, and you go out like uh-huh. that. Like yeah, like in the second episode, like they have they have to make their way to their manufacturing thing, um, manufacturing site. Um, it turns out like Angel has oh. been infiltrating, and they have to go through all these different like Indiana Jones style traps. Yeah, and so many people die in just a weird way. Some people get crushed by the walls. Some get run over by boulders. One got um cut up by a laser grid. Some fell to their death. Oh yeah, that's that's right. He got diced by the laser. <laughs> <laughs> My. Mo- uh, oh no, my big frame is not going to be able to dodge this. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm just like, what in the name of Resident oh. Evil are we doing in this room? What is happening? Yeah. It's like, no, my ample full. Uh. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it was the guy that always, and it was the guy that, it, it, it was it was the martial, it was the big martial arts boy. Oh yeah, the one that you would do anything you wanted if you gave. If you, if you gave him food. <laughs> I mean, I think that if I was to cast myself in that show, that would be me. J- just the one who would do everything, anything for food. For food, yes, it is. Look, 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 d- d- look we're we're getting the, all this, bo- all these balls of udon for free. Are you kidding me? Yes, I will <laughs> absolutely join your baseball team. <laughs> oh. And he's and he's eat, and he's eating like ramen or something while playing baseball and everything. He's doing flips yeah. and shit. I'm like, what? The yep, f-? just sweeping the field, catching it. Like, like this big <laughs> this big boy is doing all the tricks. I'm like, can can I have this power? Like, <laughs> can can we can I be this amazing? The at power sport? to the power to the power to eat and play sports at the same time. Be- be- because he's catching baseballs with with his mitt in one hand while eating while eating udon sl- or ramen or whatever he was eating in the other, I'm like, what is happening? Yeah. How do you catch a baseball, eat soup with chopsticks at the same time? I don't understand. The power of anime, Hannah. Yeah. The power yeah. of ha- the power of anime can do wonders. Can do anything. 
That can make your hair flow dramatically. We need we, we need to we need to find this power and we need to harness it. Like we will harness it. We need we need all the dramatic effects we can get. <laughs> we, we, we just we just we, we just need to look at the sunset with our hair flowing in the wind, just like an anime opening. Just be epic. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that would oh, be awesome. Beautiful. Speaking of <laughs> epic, though, can I say mm-hmm. probably one of the biggest um, strengths of this show is its soundtrack? Uh, you may say that, yes. Yes. <laughs> like, not, 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 like, not only with just, like, um, the original OST with, like, um, the whimsical themes and the serious themes and everything mm-hmm. like that, but the fact that they actually went so far as to, like, do an entire band or like they basically made it several band soundtracks with the girls dead monster girls um right yeah like like <laughs> i'm i'm not even joking those were actual songs that were made for the show that yeah that ultimately like um the two singers that um performed in there actually went on tour as in japan as a girls dead monster concert doing all the different songs by the group really oh my gosh that's awesome like, like there are like there are actual like soundtrack CDs out there for it. Unfortunately, they're not on Spotify, which I am upset by. But it's okay mm-hmm. because I have um I already have all of the other songs digitally downloaded, so I can rest easy. <laughs> because damn, like I think the concert sequences are probably some of the best um moments early on in the show. Yeah, those are yeah those are pretty cool. I liked that that element. Just in terms of animation quality and sound quality. Mm-hmm. Because it all oh, yeah. seems so fluid. I'm just like, you go from this to like base like basic um um fundamental like uh, animation at the time, and then you go into the, these full blown like con sequences just like what mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um and, and those were the actual and the actual instruments that they used on stage and everything like that, similar to how the gun designs were, the gun designs and sounds were for right, the other characters. Yeah, yeah. Those were the actual guitar models that were yeah. used, um, for the Dude. for the produ- for the production of the music. Oh, that's awesome! Like, like it's such like it's such an attention to detail with like the sound design on that. I'm just like, that's insane. Yeah, you could have just used like any guitar, you know. They could have, but they actually. Be able to tell. But they kept it with the models that um were represented in there because um I, th- mm. I forget what Gibson model was used by the by the leads by the lead singer Iwasawa. I forgot um, it, but it's but it's all right. It's just like my God, how. <sighs> I want to go listen to the soundtrack again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whenever. Amen. Sometimes whenever I'm having a bad day, just. Put on the Angel Beat soundtrack or the Girls Dead Monster albums and just lose yourself. It does yeah. want it does wonders, yeah. absolute wonders. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the uh, what the guitar was. Oh, you're trying to look it up. Um, I think it. I think it actually. Hold on. Let. I I actually have the entire um uh, wiki up. Um, right now in front of me, just to relook at for reference. Let me see. Fujimaki. <laughs> okay, the character name Iwasawa. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, it's a um, uh, it's um, the uh, the electric one was the Sienna Sunburst, and the uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe the acoustic one was a Maple Fender Stratocaster. Oh, okay. So yeah, the, so yeah, they, as you can see, like they they went fully detailed on that and everything like that. Like the, even more so, like mm-hmm. when in the early mm-hmm. beginning of the show, like when they were first recruiting Odanashi, they gave him the most basic of handguns, like a Glock 17, in order to familiarize himself. Which is yeah, which I actually yeah. talked with um a family member of mine who. Uh, was in the military and actually um, handled firearms because he was a firearm expert. And uh, mm-hmm. he's like, yeah, usually when we start people off with handguns, like Glock 17 is like one of the uh, first ones you go to because of uh, its easy handling and versatility. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. so um, what I read was right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It, it's... I, I, I appreciate that kind of like attention to detail. 
all sorts of stuff. I, I am a little bit more. It'll do than than um than some, but I I, I appreciate that kind of uh, like yeah, artistic but... integrity, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's one thing when um, uh, just... it's kind of one thing when you're doing like more medieval weapons like swords or anything like that because um there there's many different styles or anything like that but there's not like a specific like build except for mm. if you're talking about like faint more famous swords like uh excalibur or something like that yeah right but um with the uh, in an age where like uh there's t- so many different types of uh firearms or anything like that and um different models made by different creators like the fact that they went to that kind of attention to detail i'm like i appreciate that Mm -hmm. as someone yeah and i've stated before as someone who likes um uh when people take pay attention to like the smaller details i appreciate Mm -hmm. that yeah yeah that's really cool most thorough as they would say yes most thorough or is it thorough do they pronounce it thorough 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 However, you, however you pronounce it, it's excellent. It's most excellent. Thorough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Oh man, what? What? What else? I don't know. I mean, that was basically my reaction to every. <laughs> yeah. That, that there's really nothing else to really explain. Well. I mean, like I said, like, this show has had, like, such an impact on myself. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the show. Like, I mm-hmm. like I said, I have the DVD as a special collection on my shelf. I actually have a figurine of uh, the character Angel. I'm sitting uh, in uh, in my room in the usual recording area for uh, the General I've Keeper. seen it. I've seen it. I got that. I got that at uh, one of the very first anime conventions I went to after uh, Angel Beats uh, um, was uh, oh, nice. on syndication. Nice. <laughs> she she holds a special place up there. She overlooks everything, ready to cut down uh, anything in her path that might impede the the work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I really hope that's not the case. Otherwise, I'm going to have to rethink my entire life. The fact knowing that figurines can actually come to life yeah. and actually are looking at me. I'm like, please no, please no. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, that's okay. <laughs> but we're going to subside that fear right now because the, I, I will actually have a panic attack if that happens. Uh-huh. <laughs> But, oh man! But yeah, this is this is a hell of a show. I highly recommend um, people mm-hmm. people watch it just just to say you watched it, even if you you didn't really enjoy it as much. It's definitely worth checking out, in my opinion. Yeah. So um, at the time of uh, I think that's pretty much uh, I think that's pretty much all we can really say about Angel Beats. Yeah. Oh man. Short, sweet, concise, to the point, like. It, and, and, it's, mm-hmm. and it's and it's and it's finished. There's like, yeah, like, it, like honestly, like people have been wanting a season two of Angel Beats for a long time. Me, I'm like, yeah. it's it's never yeah. it's it's been ten years. It doesn't it's not necessary. It it doesn't really need it. I mean, there have been a couple like standalone episodes that have been released to showcase some of the time in between, like uh, certain episodes with certain things happening. Oh. Like, 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 did you like? I don't. Hmm. Did you see an episode where basically they were um, acting completely silly all day just because they needed to distract uh, Angel or something like that? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, that wasn't on Netflix then. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. Okay, basically there's an entire um episode that takes place, I think, in between episodes four and five. Um, that mm-hmm. was released that that was released like after um the series uh. And, like, about a couple months after the series ended, they did, like, a special uh, release episode. Oh. Basically, it was an entire operation where, basically, they had to um, be ho- very, like, hyperactive and over-the-top about everything they do in order to make a- Angel, like, uh, confused about, like, what the heck's going on to where, hopefully, mm-hmm. she would um, uh, she would report to God and then they could follow her and uh, meet God. Oh, all the, right, interesting. It was it, it it was like a silly episode that they just made for the sake of making it, and it's just like, what in the world? <laughs> it, it was, <laughs> yeah. It was definitely a trip. It was yeah. definitely a trip, and 
I would I remember I remember watching it when I was a kid. I was just huddled around my uh, family computer at like one o'clock in the morning watching it, and I'm just trying to keep myself quiet because I'm laughing mm-hmm. so hard. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I have memory of yeah early in the morning, you know, like <laughs> when you should be. Asleep. <laughs> it, was, it was it was on a school night too, and I'm just like I'm, right, I'm, I'm yeah. like keep, keep it together, Donald, keep it together, keep it together. But oh man, I was wondering about that. But yeah, like like I said, like the 13 episode run is just fine as it is. There's really no need to go over anything else. I mean, like I said before, there was a prequel manga that went over a lot of the characters that didn't really get as much backstory mm-hmm. in the um, original series run. Um. But other than that, like it's it's run its course. It's just yeah. fine as it is. Yeah, yeah. And, and I wouldn't change it for anything. There does, yeah. There doesn't need to be more of something for it to. Be. Yeah, because in my opinion, if you just add more to something like that, mm-hmm. like th- that's that just ends as a one and done kind of deal. You kind of dilute the impact. Mm-hmm. Like going back and like mm-hmm. looking at um uh, some other characters that didn't get the time, like that's a different thing because like you want you you were invested in other characters, but you didn't really have a chance to like connect with them as much as like some of the main ones because they didn't get enough screen time. Understandable, right? Yeah. That that but but that's not like creating something entirely new. You're just like laying down the groundwork from stuff that happened previously. Yeah, but, totally different. So, yeah, that's Angel Beats, guys. Yeah, that's Angel Beats. <laughs> at the time, <laughs> yep, at the time of recording um of this episode, um Angel Beats used to be uh licensed by um uh the English um uh, anime licensor Sentai Filmworks, but um they uh, released they gave up the license in 2017, so um mm-hmm. you can't exactly buy the DVD anymore at this time because I believe it's out of print. But oh. um I believe you are oh. you are able to watch um this show on the streaming services of Netflix, and I believe you can still catch it on Crunchyroll as well, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh-huh. okay. Could be wrong about that. Just uh, don't quote me on the Crunchyroll run. I know it's I know it's on Netflix. I, I double ch- I, I, I double check this morning. Donald on Crunchyroll. <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> but but seriously, check out Crunchyroll. You like you want you want a lot of anime. Crunchyroll's got it all. Got it. Ah. Well, almost got it all. But um yeah, <laughs> and with that, that concludes um that concludes anime April twenty twenty. This is this is a fun little experiment. A, a nice little experiment of a theme month. Yeah, absolutely. I think so. I mean I've had um some people that I know who listen to it who said they don't know what's going on when we're talking about anime, because that's not really their um their shtick. But fortunately we talk about other things things as well yeah un- yeah under- un- under- understandable like well like we said before general geekery is about all the things we like to geek out about like mm-hmm. doing a theme month it, w- it was nice i i don't see us doing this um all the time i would like to do another anime um april month but oh yeah sometime in the future we'll get we'll get we'll we'll sleep on that though we we have yeah. we, we have more things to geek about and uh talk about Many more adventures <laughs> well, to come. The... <sighs> excellent. Most excellent. And I think that is going to be it. So, again, guys, thank you for listening for this episode of the General Geekery Podcast and this final installment of Anime April 2020. Um, you guys can... <laughs> You guys can check out the pod, the General Geekery Podcast um, anywhere our podcast can be found. Um on Spotify, Spreaker, um, Stitcher, um, on the YouTube channel, Anime Rev Productions, which is my personal YouTube channel, um, anywhere where podcasts can be found. Um, Not on Apple Podcasts yet. I'm still working on that. Hopefully I can get it finalized soon. Uh, Hannah, where can they check you out at? Me? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I can be found rolling dice with my party every Monday at 7. 30 on twitch.tv slash loaded dice adventures and uh you can uh, follow me on instagram at pythian legume i also do a second podcast um with uh called splanknicks where me and my mom talk about art literature and gaming through the generation nice 
And as for me, you guys can check me out on uh, social media at Twitter and Instagram uh, at Ryuzaki MK7. You can also check out my personal Twitch channel at Ryuzaki MK7 as well. And uh, oh, um, actually, now that I remember, whoa, what in the world? That was the theme for Angel Beats. <laughs> no, that was that 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 that, that was that, that was that was my phone's alarm going off for some dumb reason. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, I wanted to give a big shout out to um Thomas Sabald, who um uh, we had a couple of weeks ago for the um uh, Full Metal Alchemist Anime April episode, as well as the uh, um Tolkien discussion. He started his own podcast called This Spoken World. Um, the first episode he released, um, I think just yesterday at the time of recording on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanted to give him a huge shout out and uh, congratulate him on um, uh, getting started. Um, you can go check him out. Um, this Spoken World on Spotify. Definitely, definitely check him out. He talks about um, uh, the uh, importance of the spoken word in literature. And uh, his first episode is definitely one to uh, give a listen and just mm -hmm. immerse yourself. Yes. I listened to it this morning. Oh. He, he has such a wonderful voice. Uh, uh well, man, he's it, great. It's 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 entrancing. It's such an entrancing yeah. voice. Uh, and I also appreciated that like he gave a little bit of background about it as well, like before he started reading it, which was really, it kind of yeah, it kind of felt like uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's like being a being a kid and listening to a bedtime. <laughs> yeah. That's what it felt like to me too. Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah, definitely go check out um uh, Thomas. Um but yeah, that's going to be it. This has been episode 25 of the General Geekery podcast Anime April for Angel Beats. Um thank mm -hmm. you guys again for um listening for this entire month of Anime April and uh listening all of us geek out about anime. Um mo most mostly me, but Hannah had uh, some uh geek out moments as well. Th uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you again to Thomas and Maggie Sabald for joining us for the first edition of Anime April for Fomala Alchemist. Um, mm -hmm. We'll be back with uh, more General Geekery next week. For Hannah Kubiak, I'm Donald Kaczynski. And uh, always remember, guys, um, live your life to the fullest. Just, uh, just don't get hit by giant hammers and falling out of the window and getting resurrected again. Rest in peace, Noda. Rest in peace. <laughs> But other than that, always remember to keep your geek on. Always. Oh, that was one was incredibly creepy. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that was a little creepy. So, uh. Always. <laughs> <laughs> clink, clink. There we go. That was a good clink, clink. Later, guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>